Wrong is the new animated film that released in theaters that is being uh, released by uh, Disney and Fox, though it was made by a British animation studio, and this is a partnership. So I, I would say if you want more films like this, you should go out and support this film because basically, you know, it's a partnership, but who knows if they're going to do it for any other films, right? So I think to show Disney, hey, this is a success, you know, go out and support it. I kind of wish they'd put this film not in theaters and on Disney Plus so it would have more eyes on it. You know, I went today on a Saturday and there was a decent number of people. I was surprised how many teenagers were watching this movie, right? Because it is a kid's movie. And usually certain kid's movies are filled with little kids and their parents, obviously. But it's like weird. There was there was more teenagers watching this film than little kids and their parents. But, you know, you can see how this film would be more successful had it released on Disney+. Plus. I don't feel like this is a film that really needed to go to the theaters. Though I did like seeing it on the big screen. Uh, I'm not going to deny that. I did enjoy this film. I, thought, I was actually surprised by this film. I didn't really have any expectations from seeing the trailers. I just wanted to see it because it was from a new animation studio. It looked interesting. But I didn't really expect anything. Like, this film could be absolute shit. Or it could be something really cool. And it was something really cool. What this film is about is something that... A lot of kids' films are about, you know, it's about a, a kid and his buddy type movie. You know what I mean? Like like the Iron Giant sort of thing, E.T., right? That kind of thing. Except, uh, but it goes a little bit deeper that. It reminds me more of the Iron Giant because, like, both these films clearly have something to say about different subjects. But it's like they do it through this lens of friendship. And Iron Giant is obviously more about, like, the satire of you know the 50s paranoia after you know after world war ii and things like that you're not and uh what's what's beyond the stars that type of thing you know what i mean that's what that film is about this film is about friendship obviously it's not as good as the iron giant which let's face it very few animated films are um this movie is great though what this movie is about is about the, the idea that so this kid he gets this be bot the be a bot is this robot that you basically equate to like something that helps kids like get on social media and make friends basically you have to have one to have friends everybody has a bebop and this kid he wants one uh so his dad finally gets him one and his is busted up and so you know he doesn't have his code or his correct programming and so he keeps screwing up causing all these issues so basically, instead of like these kids who are using these robots to make friends, the, the, the you know, like the newer way where basically they're, they're still pretty lonely in the sense that they don't really have friends, but these bebots make them feel like they do. He actually develops a bond with his and it helps him make more friends like he's supposed to. And it's it, 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 it basically this film is like a message about real friendship, what that means, uh, and it, it's all through the lens of this n new piece of technology, which I really like this film because a lot of films like this will, you know, let's face it, they're written by boomers or like older people, and it very much, you know, feels like old man yelling at clouds, you know, that type of thing where. They're just preaching to you. They clearly aren't in touch with new technology um, or the new era and how things work. And this film doesn't feel like that at all. It, it does show like the dangers of new technology and like how it could cause issues, but it's all about not using new technology to take over your life and also understanding that well, certain things like social media is advertised to help you make friends, uh, do these good things for you, help you create a social life, right? It may not have that effect. It's up to you to go out there and make more friends. You know, technology is a tool. And I like, that's what I like about this film. It treats technology like a tool, like what it actually is, right? It's a tool. It doesn't say it's bad. It just says it's a tool that we're all using incorrectly in a way. And I really like the message, something that kids could get out of it. It's an interesting, it's a, 
it's a fun movie. It's a funny movie where a lot of the humor comes from how, how often this robot malfunctions, which is, there's a lot of good humor with that. Uh, the, the voice acting was great. The only thing I didn't like too much was the villain, but he wasn't bad per se. Like he was just a generic or whatever. But it was like, he never really annoyed me. It's just like, whenever he was on the screen, it was kind of like, eh, can we get back to the kid and the friendship? You know, that type of thing. I don't really care about this villain and what he's doing. But, you know, it's fine. It worked out fine. It was um, it was a fun movie. I recommend it. Highly recommend it. I think this is probably the second best animated film I watched this year. I mean, number one is Mitchell's vs. the Machines. But this is a pretty good one. And I would highly recommend this film. Excellent. 10 out of 10.